-hmm. Okay, we call this generically the special event permit. This is the permit to sell beer, wine, and cider by the glass at, at an event. And we say it's a special, it doesn't have to be all that special. It just, you know, it's, it's a not for profit event. It's, it's some kind of event you want to go to and sell by the glass, all right? As a craft brewer, all right, you can get your one day permit. It costs, I think it's $26 plus a $10 filing fee, if I remember right. All right? You, you can only get the, only four at the same location a year. All right? What we don't want is you're setting up a little pop up bar. All right? Yes? So, we, in theory, you can get more than four as long as they're not in the same location. Um, we, for the manufacturers, we give a little leeway as far as the number we give out because we know. Normally, they're not trying to just start pop-up bars, okay? But these permits, these special event permits, are available to non-licensees too. So that's why there are the restrictions. We don't want somebody who can't get licensed to, to start getting a special event permit to use every day of the year someplace, all right? So wait, wait. Let's go ahead and guess it. Yes, is there an exclusivity to this event? Uh, for example, um, Let's suppose it's a car show, and I get a special permit, a one-day permit. Does that exclude other people from serving alcohol at that event? All right, so the question is, I, I get a special event permit. Does that mean nobody else can get a special event permit for the same event? No. We often give out multiple special event permits, whether it's to manufacturers or to just anybody. Think of, um, think of any street festival, any neighborhood festival, okay? There may be a number of entities that have special event permits to sell them beer and wine as fundraising. Right? We may put some, if we know this, we may put some restrictions on as far as making sure there's proper supervision for the entire location. Right? Uh, because we want to ensure that you know, there's some responsibility that follows you for serving beer to somebody. Well, that's, that's what I was okay. so, so, what we'll do is we'll, we'll look at the applications. Collectively, to kind of address any, any supervision concerns we have. Somebody had a question? Yes. Yeah, so, so that means, so that we, someone asked a question about no more than four a year at the same location. Does that mean you could do four a year at one location, four a year at a different location? The way the statute reads, essentially, you could get four, okay? But okay. That, that goes to, as I said, that's the basic rule. There are some exceptions. For example, not the profits on such that, that restriction. But also, the authority has discretion to, to go beyond that. Okay? The purpose is to make sure that we're not allowing somebody to circumvent getting a license by just getting these permits. All right? Could they be like consecutive days? You, you, you are able to get, for example, I see a volunteer firefighter. My fire department held a softball tournament uh, for one week in a month every year. Okay? It was three days long. So we had. I think we have three points of sale. So we had three permits every day for three days. So we had nine permits covering the, the whole weekend. So you can get multiple permits, yes. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, so regarding the special events permit, does the sale of beer and cider, or does it apply to the entirety of what you're allowed to sell? Does that mean I can sell New York State beer, cider, wine, and liquors? That, for manufacturers, it's your, it's your beer. Okay, for because that's a retail privilege, so we so it's being restricted as far as what you can do with it. If it's if it's me, and I'm having an event in some place for some reason, I can just get my permit, buy any beer and wine from a wholesaler, and then sell it. But because you're a manufacturer, you're restricted as far as what you can do with it. Yeah, yes. Um, um going to be part of the beverage trail and we'd like to do group activities. One of the activities that was discussed was helping the local drive-in theater convert to digital. So they wanted to have all four of us on site selling our product. Would they just be able to get the special event license and that would cover the four of us? Well, it wouldn't cover you, it would cover them. If, for example, let's say that the, the company wants to do it, or <coughs> the beverage trail, is the beverage trail an actual entity? Yes. 
the beverage trailer can get a permit. And then you could donate your product, or they could buy from you the beverage trail, buy the product from you, and then the beverage trail does the event. Okay. So the question is who's who's actually selling the product? 